like to thank uh, councillors for Zachary, Rankin and Mrs Brown for the kind words and reflections on my council life and achievements. For the last 36 years, I've always sat or stood in their positions speaking about somebody else and it's unique that I now find myself responding to, um, to what you've said about uh, me. I'd like to thank every one of you for being here today at this meeting. It's an exciting and humbling ceremony. Everyone in the council chamber today has supported me during my life and I'd like to pay tribute to that. And also many people um, who would have been proud to attend today are no longer with us. And I know that um, uh, both my parents, my dad, he would have been extremely um, proud. And I know Susan's parents would have been extremely proud. My mother never wanted me to be on the council. She said I hadn't time to do it. And, uh, but by the time it got uh, that I'd been on uh, towards 20 years, she accepted it and, uh, and decided that, um, that she was proud that, uh, that I was doing what I was doing. Um, the ultimate honour um, comes from the City Council. But it's always, it's always re, uh, necessary to remember your roots, much of which started pre-council. Even though more than half my life has been spent on the council. It's a sobering thought, isn't it? <laughs> um, as a number of uh, the, in fact, all three um, members of council have, uh, have alluded to, I think that um, the best achievement that I've made in my life was actually marrying Susan nearly 50 years ago. <laughs> um, there's been many ups and downs, uh, which you would expect from a good team, but we have been really proud of our joint productions. <laughs> our daughters, Karen and Pamela, have made us proud with the minimum of crises. <laughs> and with Peter and Johnny, they've given us four grandchildren, Imogen, Charlie, Lily and Rhea, who we both adore in different ways. Rhea's just waking up. Uh, looking at other people who've been made freemen, I'd say it was my dad who was the cricketer and footballer. I wasn't any good at modelling plasticine either. <laughs> However, I did play on the front row at rugby for Grasshoppers Colts and always had the try line in my sights. I did have the honour of sitting on the bench with Sir Tom Finney, Ian Hall and Joe Hood. And I always like to think that I brought their wisdom to any decision that I made. Whatever achievements I've made, you have to bear in mind that it was the rural residents who voted and gave their support over the years. It was also members of the council from all groups who allowed me to represent rural press.
Preston on the national stage. And nothing can be achieved without cooperation. And the government accepting the phrase rural proofing throughout all government departments was a partnership which I created on all four groups on the LGA. In fact, Christine Reid, who was the uh, leader of South Somerset, the Labour councillor, um, she actually accepted with enthusiasm uh, that places like Preston, where it's 80% rural and only 20% urban, but only 12% of the population are in need of rural assistance. And I'd also, it's a time of, of saying thank you to people, and whilst I thank everyone, every member of, uh, of council, I do have to um, single out uh, just a couple. And uh, within the rural areas, one of the biggest single emotive issues was planning. And during, uh, during my time here, we were never, the Conservative group, were never in a position where they could get decisions through the planning committee. So we had to enlist the aid of John Brown and Ron Atkins who were, and, and Terry, who were real um, defenders of the, of the rural areas. And, um, and many a time we were able to create decisions which protected the rural areas. Um, uh, and, and I was uh, very, very grateful to, um, to that. And also, um, when I first came on the council, we had, um, we had environmental health committee meetings and we held them in the old Fullwood Urban District Council offices at, uh, at Fullwood. And uh, there's the time of Kitty Sharp was coming in with a, a piece of grass that was like six foot high. And, uh, and we had a cemetery, which was 130 acres of a cemetery. And we had staff mowing that cemetery with a scythe and a sickle. And health and safety was 